guys, it's Just Jade, and today I am so excited because I'm unboxing something very, very special. Now, I'm a huge, huge fan of tracking data about myself, my sleep, my activities, even my food intake, and now there is something that we can use to track our pet's health. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Whistle Health Pet Tracker, and this is great because not only can you use it for your dog, but you can also use it for your cat. It'll track things like licking, it tracks water intake, and it kind of just gives you an overall picture of what your pet is doing. Without further ado, let's unbox this and check out. He loves wearing a collar more than anything, and we usually only use harnesses on him, so when we put a collar on him, he gets so excited. <gasps> Here it is, look at this. We need to charge the device, install the app, and follow in-app instructions. I can do that. So here it is. This says charge me. We have a cable that comes with it. Quick start guide. Oh my goodness, four humans. My dog can read, whatever. Rounded, okay, all right, okay. So let's get this all set up. So this is the Whistle Health. Okay, we need to plug it in to pair. Plug in, we see the light, so pair the device. Get to know our pet, Maddie. Okay, Maddie is a dog, he is a male. Yes, he is. He is a, a beach poo, I think, yeah. He's probably like 16 pounds, I think. Add a photo of Maddie. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay, this is not his best photo, but it's the last one that I took. Oh, you wanna get to know me? Okay. Yes, we want notifications. Activating Maddie's whistle health. Set activity goals. Help Maddie stay on track. There it is. Okay, let's get this all charged up, and then I'm gonna go put it on Maddie. Okay, so I just told Maddie that I have something for him, and he's losing his mind. Look at this, Maddie. This is your whistle health tracker. Okay, so we gotta get this all looped up on your collar. Are you ready to wear this? All right, oh, he loves wearing a collar more than anything. Don't you, buddy? Don't you? Look how handsome you look. You're so beautiful. You're a beautiful boy, yes you are, you're an angel. You were just licking your butt, so I'm not gonna let you lick my face. <laughs> yeah, I hope you understand. <laughs> okay, would you like to go for a walk? day one of Maddie's seven day journey to gather all of his health insights. So the first seven days is really important to kind of get their daily habits. So after that, we'll continue tracking, but here we go. Day one is underway. Okay, Maddie, come on, we're gonna go this way. Let's go. Hmm, well, the one thing that the whistle tracker has not done is uh, made him listen anymore. That's probably my fault, but we're working on it. Come on, buddy. Do you wanna go get a treat? Let's go get a treat. Maddie, we can't go that way. We have to go this way. seven-day whistle kind of baseline testing and I love this thing so much it was amazing because the first full day that he actually wore it I took a little road trip to San Diego and I walked around so much I think that first day we walked like seven or eight miles and I was of course tracking stuff on my watch but it was really wild to just see the data on Maddie's little whistle app and it's great because I can actually go in here and I can see all of his activity that he's done so here was his Saturday on 521 we walked 7.7 .7 miles and he also rested for 11.3 hours so you know he had some resting time he burned 661 calories I love that this gives you kind of like a timeline of the day Maddie was walking Maddie was active Maddie was running then we have Maddie was resting and then down here at the end it says low intensity activity for 27 minutes my favorite part about this though is I can share Maddie's day so I can change the backgrounds I can have it be his photo or choose one from the library so after you have your little image you can take this and then share with your friends your family or even on social media I love this because my sister and I both share Maddie together so she's been out of town so this for me has been proof that I have been doing my parenting duties of making sure that he takes his consistent walks so you can go through each day and see how he did and of course some days were a little better than others but we have met all of his goals for the past seven days. Okay, so you see that he's scratching. I 
actually got a little bit sad when I saw his health data because I have been seeing him scratch and lick a lot. He has been licking so much. He has really bad allergies. It usually gets bad sort of around like the summertime when there's like a lot of fleas and stuff like that. I've noticed him licking and I am very sad because when I clicked in here to see the health, this kind of confirmed that yes, his licking is a problem. This has his licking as rated as severe and this is like heartbreaking because I obviously am not around him 24 seven so I don't know what he's doing when I I'm not watching him and when he is around me I usually tell him hey stop licking don't do that and he'll stop but if I'm not around but this is giving you the data right here like I can actually see when the days are the worst so like on the 24 it was really really bad and up here at the top it has a little action item it says there's a high chance Maddie's skin is irritated monitor and consult a professional if the condition does not improve I also like that I have this hard proof and the actual data because sometimes when you go to the vet and you say yeah he's been licking and you don't actually have the proof like I can show them. So you can see under the health data, it gives you the scratching, licking, sleeping, eating, and their drinking. This says that his drinking is below average, his eating is average, sleeping he is of course very restful, but the scratching and licking are both elevated. And this shows you how they rank each thing. So if it's infrequent, it's zero to 52 seconds of daily scratching and he is elevated. So it's 120 to 299 seconds of daily scratching. The battery is currently at 63% and it wasn't in entirely 100% a week ago. So the battery life on this thing seems to be really, really good, which is great because I feel like if you are gonna be wearing this health tracker, you kind of want to track as much as possible. I have been taking his collar off every other night, so he does get a little break in between. They do recommend that you wear it at least half of the day so that you're able to get as much data as possible. And as someone who likes to collect data, I definitely want to be able to get the most out of it. I'm super grateful that I got a chance to review this and especially now just being able to see this data and know that I definitely need to get him to a vet as soon as possible to try to get this little condition taken care of. I feel so bad my little baby's just licking so much. Oh, does somebody want this treat that I have? Come here, come here, sit down. That's a good boy. Maddie, I feel so bad about your licking, but you're such a good dog. Sit on mommy's lap. That's not what I told you to do, but that's okay. Such a good boy, and this little whistle looks so fancy on you. It looks so nice. Do you remember our trip when we went to San Diego and you were a good dog? You walked so much. You walked so much. Oh, you just took the treat. You took the treat. Do you want to see your health data? So, Maddie, here's all your achievements and stats. You can collect badges, seven day goal met, you've traveled 25 miles, and you've had the whistle on for seven days. Average daily activity is 120 minutes. Average daily distance, 4.1 miles. I love that it gives you all of this data. Look at that. You see that? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been really wanting to try this out for a long time, so I'm so excited that I got a chance to. Again, a huge thank you to Whistle for partnering with me on this video and actually bringing to my attention that I need to get my dog some help. And I will keep you guys posted on his progress. And I love the fact that I can actually see the progress happening before my eyes. Not only will be able to see the changes in my dog and his behaviors, but I can actually see the data here in the app. If you guys want to get more information about the Whistle health tracker I'll put a link in the description and I would love to hear from you guys have you tried these out and I would love to hear your stories thank you so much for watching bye